and welcome back to the King's Cabinet. Hey, it's it's another sad episode, Joker, because King isn't going to be here for this one. It's like every other episode now. I, I I'm my, my, my not mild. I am moderately not disappointed. Why wouldn't you be disappointed? I I have to have low expectations. Otherwise, I'll be disappointed by most things in life. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Listen, I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because, look, look, with all the intricacies of life, hmm? anything can happen. It's just kind of like uh, today's episode, folks, because <laughs> this, uh, this week, uh, we don't really have a topic. We're just going just gonna to talk for God knows how long. Oh, God, not talking. No! Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, with that said, hmm? I'm Knight. And I'm Joker. And with that, the King Cap- King's Cabinet... Is now in session. That was pretty close to being in sync. Almost. Yeah, we almost did it. I blame King for not being here. Although, to be fair, he is feeling under the weather, Mm -hmm. so we will respect him and, you know, not make fun of him while he's not here. Oh, we're not going to make fun of him? Well, I only have to simp for him while he's here, so... Oh, alright, cool. cool. (laughs) If it's between us, then it's fine, and literally the entire internet... All right, let's let's, let's talk uh, some shit on the king. He needs sleep. <laughs> he does. We dude. say this every episode, and <sighs> King, if you're listening to this post recording, which you should be, mm. we love you to death, buddy. But gosh darn it, sleep more. Get some fucking sleep, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. Like I thought I was bad with not getting enough sleep on like weekends and stuff like that, but holy hell, like, you do it like every <clears throat> night. <laughs> Did you get some extra sleep uh, last night? Nope. <laughs> Even with an extra, okay, extra hour. Seriously, I, I, I hate daylight savings time, but that's, that's fair. It's it's that's... just the farmers can just wake up sooner. Okay, <laughs> you're not making more time. You're just making no. everyone else move the clocks back. <laughs> well, but don't most farmers hate it too? Probably, yeah. Hmm. Actually, I, you know, I, I should ask my um. My, my godmother, she she's married to a farmer, actually. Hmm. And I've been on their farm a bunch of times. It's I don't think I've ever asked her that question. I really should. Because we he, I guess, we're, they're basically like cousins to us. Oh, all right. And, like, he gets up pretty early in the morning to take care of everything, at least back when he was more, like, mainly on the farm. They're, like, getting into retirement age, so they're not as with it right now. But hmm. in general, yeah, it's, like, literally just get up really early in the morning. Tend to the cows. I think they had cows. They had lambs. They had chickens. Wow. The works. That's awesome. Daylight savings time doesn't help that. <laughs> no, no, it's probably fucking garbage. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, did, did, does it, I mean does it, it doesn't make sense to me. Does it make sense to you at all? Because Maybe not at all. What, how, what good is the extra hour if no one fucking sees it or <laughs> if it just doesn't happen? I mean, I, I heard once they tried reversing it, like, in the 70s. Yeah. Back, like, when my parents were still in school, and they didn't want the kids, like, standing, waiting for the buses in the pitch black darkness in the morning. But they do that anyway. It's literally every day as a kid. <laughs> you're fucking sitting on at the bus stop for probably an hour plus. I, well, okay. Let's, let's at least be fair here. Mm-hmm. Crap can happen. Sure. Look, but the odds of like a child abduction are so low, despite what the uh, media scare of the '90s would have you think. So, honestly, it would still be pretty safe. Sure, you can't see anything. Yeah. That's why I say we should be allowed to carry swords. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. It would be like it would be like Dune, but you know, with less shields and less <laughs> and, more, and more dying. <laughs> If that makes any... I don't know how familiar you are with Dune. Not at all, but I like that there's more... <laughs> Shields, Joker. Oh. <laughs> Shields that fit around your, just your person. Because in, the, because in, the, in, in Dune in the future, they just make shields which stop most bullets. So they go back to fighting with swords. But it's like you're 10,000 or something. I definitely gotta read that book then. No, it's it's so worth it, dude. So worth it. Okay. Oh, just 
don't watch the 80s. Okay, well, they made a movie in the 80s. I think it's the 80s? Yeah. It may, may have been late 70s. Mm -hmm. Read the book first because it does not make sense if you don't watch. Don't, don't watch the movie from the 80s if you haven't read the book first. It won't make as much sense. All right. Um, also, Dune is my father's favorite book. Really? Yeah, so if you wanted to actually talk with him about it, you guys could probably have a huge discussion about Oof. it. Oof. Well, all my homies hate the Harkonnens. <sighs> to, to like the 2% of you that understand that joke, you get it. Screw the Mentat. All my homies hate the Mentat. Sure. Joker, just read the book, and then this will be hilarious to you. Well, you'll, you'll go back listening to this recording, then you will laugh your ass off. Or I'll be crying while I'm editing, you know. Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> so an average Tuesday. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, or no, Saturday, because this is the podcast. Ugh. Man, it, it, I mean, how draining is it? <laughs> it... There's a lot yet to cut out. I, I'm so you know I'm surprised we haven't cut out as much. If I'm being honest. <laughs> if, to uh, be fair though. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. We sometimes get off into some bad tangents. Yeah. And I apologize for that. <laughs> Especially in the last episode, for some reason I just couldn't stop screaming. <laughs> Wait, the last gameplay episode, or...? The last gameplay episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Or, <laughs> that and actually the last podcast episode. Well, okay, well, for the gameplay, you had to cut out, like, tw 20 minutes? Yeah. Like, I just saw, like, like all the, the, the jumbled mess on the screen, and then it oh, cuts yeah. to, like, the end of the, the suicide run of that one episode. Yeah. Because <laughs> we went on a huge tangent about something, I believe, either political or personal. I think it was... No, it was personal. Yeah, so I couldn't keep that in. That was a little bit much. Nah, yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Mm. I mean, we haven't gotten well. We can't get demonetized because we're not, not monetized yet. yet. So not yet. But if people go back and like look and mm. see that we said something extremely insensitive, right? There could be a whole movement or something like that. A whole movement. Ooh, we could turn into a Twitter hashtag. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. If I pissed off Twitter, mm. I consider that almost an achievement. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> no, instead of the blue check mark, there should be the red check mark. Or the red X mark. Where you're getting fucking demonetized and shit. Or like, like you're just so vilified, but they still keep you on. It should be like a badge of honor. <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, mm. my tw the Twitter feed that we have for the channel, mm. it's mostly just like brilliant diamond and shining pearl leaks. Like, that's really all I've been seeing. Like, on Twitter? Yeah. I, I, cool. I, I don't swim in those pools. I've seen enough of all their stuff on Twitter. It's like, I, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna post the things and then leave. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Also, speaking of the uh, leaks, uh, have you heard any of the leaks for the game yet? Probably. I haven't heard any, well, none. Leaks in air quotes. I haven't heard any. Uh, I, I, won't, I won't spoil anything, but yeah. if this stuff is true, hmm, might be, uh, might be a pretty decent remake. Really? It might be. Like, is it actually extremely different from the originals? No. Well, the, the, like, just adding, like, little things like ah. potential new uh, regional variants. Oh, okay, yeah. M potential, well, ooh, okay, no, I, I'll, I'll stop there because I'm going to spoil stuff, potentially. Hmm. Let's just say new interesting fights. Cool. Don't know if the, if the uh, graphics and the animations will be better. I, I don't personally care about that, really. Fair. But I know everyone lost their SHIT over that with Sword and Schwield. Oh, yeah. That, that was, like, a huge point of contention for a lot of people not wanting to buy the game. Because I think they reused a lot of assets from Sun and Moon? Well, yeah. It was originally being developed for the 3DS. Oh, really? You see, that's a point I rarely hear brought up. I hadn't heard that before at all. I heard somewhere like halfway through development they switched to the Switch. Which. That makes sense. It's like, yes, no wonder the freaking Ocarina of Time level trees are there. <laughs> like, I mean, again, not that it should matter. I understand. Look, I don't care as much for graphics, I care about gameplay. Yeah. I didn't like Sword and Shield as much because it wasn't as good as Sun and Moon's gameplay. Like, in terms of battles. Okay, yeah. Like, the, the battle mechanics were. 
on point in Sun and Moon. In my opinion, I know people don't like the Z crystals, <laughs> so I'd, I'll, I'll give you that one. Fair, it is a little ridiculous, but I still like it. Fair. See, my main problem with Sword and Shield <clears throat> is um, there wasn't a lot of move diversity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you could get, say, a Larvesta, and it would literally be pretty much restricted to only having fire and bug moves. You couldn't teach it anything outside of that typing too, or at least not too far outside of that typing, which kind of sucked. It was difficult to expand move pools. Yeah. Like, well, okay, one thing I kind of liked hmm? was that Toxic was now a more much more exclusive move. Oh, really? Yeah, like, most things can't learn Toxic in that game, like they hmm. could in the other ones, which... It honestly kind of makes sense, which I like. Yeah. It's an interesting change, but then you, you remove, like, hidden power and, like, things like that. It's like, come on, just just give me everything. Yeah. You don't have to... Like, you, you can't balance a Pokemon game if you have 400-plus characters. <laughs> like, I mean, imagine that. Trying to balance an RPG with 400 characters. It, you, it's, it's impossible. Yeah. You either limit the choices or the game becomes piss easy, which... These games have always been piss easy. Yeah. I don't know why anyone thinks they're difficult, unless you're, like, a kid. Yeah. Unless you're, like, ten years old or so, like, the game probably intended for you to be. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I wonder, too. Like, a lot of the people complaining about the crap in these games are for people that are way too old for it. Yeah. And I, and I will include myself in that. Mm -hmm. I'm 23 years old. And, you know, I, I still played these games. Right, but you're not shitting on the game for not being difficult. Well, no, because... Okay, let me put it this way. N Nintendo has acknowledged at some point, yes, a lot of adult fans exist. Right. However, it's intended for children. Right. The people who are complaining about it on Twitter may as well be children. Controversial take, I know, but... Bro, it's, it's, a, it's a video game for a 10-year-old's up. Yeah. Get over it yourself. Right. Plus, if you want an actually difficult experience, you play ROM hacks. Most of which suck, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, they're just the stupidest thing ever. Or you could play Fire Emblem. Now, now that's actual fun difficulty. It is. Most Fire Emblem games are very fun to play. Mm. There are a few exceptions to the rule. <coughs> <coughs> Three exceptions, dare you say? Hmm. Hmm. I might go that far to, as far as to say that. That, that. Okay, but Three Houses, that's more difficult than the other games, in my opinion. To, to an extent. I can see that. I, I don't think it's because of the enemies. I think it's because of the units you're given. I would agree to... Yeah. To an, I, I do agree with you. It's You have a lot of squishy units in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And you don't have, like, a Marcus. You don't have a Titania. You don't have a Jagan. Right. So that makes the... Especially if you're playing on hard mode, that just makes it ridiculous. Right. Like, oh, why not just let you play with Gerald, the main character's father, who's a paladin? Wow, an early game paladin that can help you through the beginning parts of the game? Crazy. Ugh. It's much better than Ike's dad. I can't remember his name right now, but... Uh, mm. Gerald. Or, or no. Grail. Grail, yeah. Well, technically, is Wait, I was about to say his actual name, but... Knight... Or, sorry, not Knight. I'm Knight. King is yeah. still playing through Path of Radiance. If I said Grail's actual name, it would mm. spoil something. Right. And I know he's going to listen to this. King, I ain't going to spoil it for you. Even though you're a mad genius and you've probably already figured it out by now. Mm. But still. But we... Uh, dude, I, I want to explain that whole thing in that game. Because the plot is actually amazing. Dude, I'll, I'll give the credit. The plot in that game is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It carryovers well into Radiant Dawn, which at some point I hope to God we play. Yeah. Because cool. that's going to be a chaotic mess. And I really like that with Radiant Dawn, they show the fallout of the end of Path of Radiance. That yeah. Was, it was amazing to me that they actually showed like real humanistic reactions to the end of that first game. Well, it, my brother... One of my older brothers, when he played through Path of Radiance the first time, mm. years and years ago, at the very end of the game, this isn't a major spoiler, mm. Ike basically says, well, after he defeats the final boss, now it's finally over. But my brother was like, well, no it's not. Right. Like, th there's the fallout of war. Right. Just because you kill, say, uh, Lord Voldemort yeah. in a certain real world war, that isn't the end of it. No. There's so much fallout that happens in 
Ra- and I agree with you, Joker. Radiant Dawn just really captures it well. Yeah. Ugh, oh, it's... It's amazing. Like, those two games so perfectly reflect off of each other. Like, I, I, I understand now why it's your favorite, like, combo of it, Fire it, games. Of a combination, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Just for the story alone. Yeah. Gameplay-wise, overall pretty good. Right. But Although Radiant Dawn is a mess. It really is. Like, I <laughs> had a point where I was hitting, like, a brick wall. Which, which chapter? If I'm curious. Because I've hit um, walls in that game when I was... Because I was playing through this in middle school. Yeah, and I still don't understand how you did that. See, well, I, I've realized was... See, in that game, the difficulties are off. So, like, normal mode is actually hard mode. I, w- I was playing on hard mode the entire time as a kid. So that's why I had to keep resetting all the damn time. Jesus. So, and you have to understand, I was a, guys, I was a really dumb kid. Like, I was really dumb. So the fact that I did that well with it, that says something, right? Yeah, that's eh. kind of incredible. And I probably couldn't do that fucking well. <laughs> I, well, I mean, like, well, as an adult, it's, in some ways it's harder, actually. Because really? now you, well, now that I understand how the mechanics of the games work, mm-hmm. I'm like, holy crap! How did I pull this off when I was younger? Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you're younger and you don't understand how things work. Yeah. You, you don't think about how bad some things can screw you over. Right. But it still works out anyway. Oh yeah. So. I don't know. It's just fucking the. I guess naive, naive, naivety of a kid. Yeah. Like. You keep going at it headlong every time until you figure out what works hey trial and error hell yeah that's why we love the scientific method fuck around and find out heck yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh i was so curious joker yeah what what, yeah. what was the major brick wall for you in that game um what was it i think it was when you finally get z heart back is that in part three because that part is something. I think it was part two. Or act two. Act, well, because act two is when, mm, I don't want to spoil too much for King, but act two is when you're back in the place that gets invaded by the other place from right. the first game. Yeah, and then it was like a desert level where you get z and oh, that's somebody else back. Oh, that's part one. Oh, it is part one? I know which level you're talking about, and yeah. I, I can see that. Yeah, because there are some chapters of the of it that are relatively easier. Yes. And then there's uh, ones where it, like, spikes. Yeah. So, so for those of you who aren't aware of the games we're talking about or loosely familiar with Fire Emblem, mm. most of the games in the series are pretty good about easing you into the difficulty over time. Yeah. Path of Radiance, which is, I believe, the ninth entry in the series? Yeah, that, that that's nine. That one's pretty good at easing you into it. It's sequel, Radiant Dawn, for the Nintendo Wii. The game, it's all over the place with difficulty. Yeah. Even, I've watched even veteran players struggle with it because it's just that unforgiving. Really? Oh, yeah. No, it's like, there's certain levels in the game where you'll go through a few levels where, say, you have your entire squad with you. Right. That you've been going, that you've been leveling up for about eight chapters. Mm -hmm. Then the game switches over to a chapter where you only have three units... Two, one of which is a tank, and then two of them which are kind of squishy. Yeah. But you have to fight, like, 20 other people. You, you like, it's... Radiant Dawn is a game where you have to be very careful with every move. Most other games in the series are fairly forgiving with mistakes. Yeah. Radiant Dawn is not one of them. Oof. Not until, I'd argue, later in the game where you get really powerful units right. that can usually solo... A bunch of enemies at once. Right. But the problem is, you have to get there first. Yeah, it's a huge fucking hill to climb. It, yeah, it, I, I like what it, I like it in concept. Right. It does a lot of cool things. I just would prefer if the execution was better. I, I understand that, but I think, for what that game is and how, the story is being presented, mm. I understand where they're coming from. See, looking not looking at it in a vacuum, it's mm. excellent. Yeah. Looking at it com- only at it, though, right? it's a mess. Yeah, it's absolutely a fucking mess. But I love it. 
Same. I love it so much. <laughs> like, I can't spoil it, but in <laughs> Path of Radiance, the four-parter, mm. at the very oh, end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Shrek's Swamp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For, the like, freaking Swamp. At the very end, when the four... <sighs> we can't say it. There's when a swamp where we go to Shrek's swamp. Right, where the big event happens mm-hmm. and the music as it swells up and everything changes the way to the way it was originally. Mm-hmm. I actually burst out into tears while I was watching that the it, first time. It's a beautiful moment. It is. Like it's and it's set up so well too. Yeah. Like it's incredible. And the voice acting in the cutscene is well, at least the two people singing in the cutscene are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Can't say much about Ike or uh no. The other character. No. I think they've got like a five dollar voice actor and was like, Alright, we just we need somebody to do this. Hey, if you could at least give three houses something, it had great voice acting. You gotta at least give it that. I don't even want to give three houses <laughs> anything. Oh, uh, you're not even gonna give it that? Oh nope. the soundtrack was pretty good though. I played most games with the sound off. <sighs> okay, that's fair. I mean, I, I usually play Pokemon games with animations off, so... That's fair. So to all you m- 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 high-quality animations people out there, um, get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> like, wh- why do you care about the animations? Just turn them off and use your imagination. <laughs> Some people don't have an imagination. Night. Well, but, see, like... Okay, I know you're, ha- ha- you're half-joking when you say that. Yeah. Like, it... <laughs> First of all, good joke. Thank you. Second of all, <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just me, but like, I just, it's so sad. Like, it, I mean, if anything, I can't turn my imagination off. Same. Which has its own issues. Yeah, but. Maybe that's, what, well, it, getting it, maybe that's, like, and this isn't to be insulting to say, oh, you don't have an imagination, you can't visualize something in your head that well. Right. It's not to be demeaning, it's just, it, I can't imagine, I mean, maybe that's why many people people who don't have as active or vibrant of an imagination, they mm-hmm. want beautiful looking games. Yeah. From that perspective, I can totally understand why you'd want a really pretty looking video game. Absolutely. Sure. But I think another part of it is that some people can't tap into the part of their imagination. You see, that's you see, that's interesting. Like, how do how's it so easy for one person but not the other? I think it's all about how often you use the creative side of your brain. Like, there's the logical and creative, and I don't remember which part's which. Logical is left, creative is right. Okay, so the more you use the right half of your brain, the more often it's going to essentially take control. Right. It's like a a muscle. If you work it out and everything else, it's bound to do more of what you need to do. Or do what you need to do better. Must be a pretty freaking right brain then. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, geez, no wonder I did. Well, I didn't like school for a lot of reasons. Okay. But that's that's one of them. It's at least with with public education here in the late United States, mm-hmm. very left brain centric. Mostly logic. And although I I understand it, it's easier to teach that way than it is yeah. for a right brain person. Like, I'm more of an abstract thinker, mm-hmm. which is it's difficult to teach someone like that. That's fair. So it makes sense that I might have some resentment growing up in school. Just saying. I did too. I wasn't. I was never a school kid. I. Well, it, I forget. It, do you remember back in eighth grade, we took those uh, learning test things? Yeah. Did I ever tell you what happened with mine? No. Okay, so you know. Okay, so for those of you who are listening, like they're like the different learning types. Right. I don't know how scientific or pseudoscientific it is, right. but the idea is like you have like the kinesthetic learners, vi- visual, auditory, like all that stuff. Right. So when we were going through this in eighth grade, they had us do it in English class for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, I was okay with it. It was a, it was it was something fun to do. Yeah, and an excuse to get out of English. That actually, I didn't mind English. I hated it. I, well, okay, I I liked our teacher in eighth grade. I mean, she had an attitude, but I still I still liked her class. That wasn't no, that was the math teacher. Uh, oh no, I I didn't. She's a nice woman, but she's also not the easiest to work with. Oh, the little yeah, okay. I can't say I can't describe her, but we, I, we, I know who you're talking about. Y- you know who I'm talking about. 
look, no, no animosity. It's just we were younger. We were more. We were less mature. Yeah. But also, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, right. I took the I took the test. Like you, you fill out questions and then you tie up your score. That's how you determine what your learning style is. Right. So, I got existential as my learning style, and mm. the way you tally it up, at least on this test that we had. You basically have like, like the highest one is the one you technically fall under. Right. And keep in mind, like the other ones, like I scored like maybe four on auditory, five on visual, mm -hmm. like like fours and fives all around. But then I got nine on existential. Wow. It was very clear that I was my learning method. Right. So then the teacher has us break into groups based off of the learning style. Mm -hmm. Now of course I'm the only damn kid in the class who gets existential. Oh shit. And I'm like, hey, so, uh, Miss So and So, um. So this is my learning style. So what about this? And she, you know, did I tell you what she said to me? No. She says, "Oh, we we don't we don't we don't deal with that kind. Just you know, go go to another one." And I know the reason. She, part of the reason she said that on the, like the list, like it gives an example of how you tally your score. Mm -hmm. Basically, like the other ones have like solid lines to signify progress in like whatever amount you were in. Yeah. For the existential, it was dotted out, and there was, there was like an. I was looking at it, and there was, like, an asterisk saying, like, this is a very unconventional learning style. But, like, it, it was, like, the weird one, odd one out. What the fuck? But, like, I got, that was my highest score. By a significant, it wasn't close. It was significant. Right. So then I thought, okay, well, first of all, I felt really insulted. Fair. Because she basically said, we can't understand you. But then, I, I went to the visual learner group, because, like, okay, that's... I got a five in that, so I'll go to that one. But it's like, really? Why but, even have that on there? <laughs> it's probably not to make people feel dumb, but it just made me feel more dumb. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically just saying, oh, this is the way I learn. Ah, uh, nobody gives a shit about that. You go fucking conform to everybody else. I mean, it's difficult to teach in that method, but... Right. Like, the, the way she just kind of blew it off was like... I mean, Grant, I was, I was the only kid who had it. And fair, in all fairness, I was, a, I was an idiot... Same. And I and I did cause a bit of trouble now and then, so I can understand if there she might not have been fond of me. That's her point. Is that's not how you handle that situation. No, that, that was probably the worst way she could. Yeah. Oh, uh, Joker, out of curiosity, did, did you yeah. remember what you got on that whole thing? I had pretty much everything tied. Really? Almost completely. Yeah. Everything was within one of each other. There was no standout. Interesting. Yeah, and I don't know what the fuck that means and based off of how we were all separated after that right. I don't know what I would have or should have done like, relatively even across the board yep. that's really weird you see you'd think they would have had another thing where it's like okay if you like depending on what your distribution was right. they'd even go, go hone in further but it just seems like they were more concerned about the category that you were most affiliated with Yep, and then when I was completely split across all of them, right? There's nothing for me to do, so I just joined a random group. It's like, but like, what good does that do you then? None. <laughs> it's like, and then I just got even pushed even further fucking back in school. Well, yeah, because you know they, I'll, I don't want to say they don't care. They don't have the ability to. Yeah. That that's the best way I can put that. They can't focus in on one kid if they start falling behind. Right. That's just a uh, problem with how the school system works. It's not any fault of any specific school. No, yeah, it's just, I mean, you, you can only hone in so much on one person. And when you have class sizes of, like, 20 to 30 kids apiece, right. you just, it, it's it's an unfortunate reality, but that's that's just, at least that's how we grew up with it. Yeah. I don't know, I, I imagine schools have, rel maybe they've stayed relatively the same. Some of my family members teach, yeah. so it's like, from what I can tell, it's kind of a similar thing, but right. they're not in, like... Well, I won't go into where they teach, but the right. point is, like, I imagine it stayed relatively the same. Obviously, there can't be too much innovation at once. Right. Education's a nightmare. It is, but when we all have to and had to have lived through. <sighs> Part of me misses school, but it's for the social aspect. Okay, yeah, for the social aspect, I can understand that. I mean, I, I liked high school classes. Mm -hmm. Like, that's when I actually started to enjoy learning. Okay. But before that, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, I just want to play, I want to play Super Smash Brothers Brawl with the homies. 
I don't want to learn about reciprocals in fifth grade. Fuck that. Still, honest, okay. <laughs> like, I, I work in accounting. Yeah. And I still barely understand how reciprocals work. <laughs> then again, you don't need those for accounting, so that's Fair. good. Right. But it's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, yeah, no, that, that school is something. Mm. But back in high school, the things that I found most interesting were like the little niche classes. Yes. Like psychology, sociology, um, not family consumer science, but like the... International foods? Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to make something new every fucking week, essentially, or every day, even. That was a lot of fun. That, that, that was a solid class. It was. Sure. Yeah, 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 folks. Joker and I, we were cooking up a storm. Hell yeah. We weren't good chefs by any means, but still. Well, see, uh, between the three, well, the three of us mainly working in the group, mm. we were pretty solid. It was you, me, one other kid, or one really big kid, and one other yeah. kid, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there were technically four of us in the group, but um, the one. Oh, I remember who the other one was. Okay. Yeah, he um, the the one other guy, he had he didn't really do much, right. but but he, he he also had stuff going on, so it, I, I can't I can't put him too much at fault for that. Also, rest in peace to the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he passed away. I think. Last year. Last year, yeah. It, it, it's sad. It is. And he was a good kid. But, uh, memento mori? I don't know if that's the right word, but still. Latin for something, I assume? Yeah, it's, uh, unis honest. They said it a lot in their videos. Oh! And I don't remember what it means, but I feel like it's something, like, in memory. That's fair. Hmm. Yeah, I, I never watched uh, Unis Anus. That's in fact, right. I didn't even hear about it until it was ending. Oh, really? I, I did not hear a single thing about it. Fuck. <laughs> I, I heard it was, like, what, like, really creative content yeah. that they then deleted and would flag for reposts. Yeah. I can respect that. Yeah, it's keeping it up for a lim uh, limited amount of time and then basically completely banishing it when it's gone. They stuck to it. They did. Which I can I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Even if I never saw a single one of the videos. They were good. It was two really funny and creative people um, just having fun. It, the, the, there's something to be said for that. Just like the, um, it's the, it's the pursuit. It's not about the money. Yeah, definitely. Right. It's watching people enjoy what they do. Yes. Essentially. Which, that's kind of what makes it all worthwhile, you know? Well, I mean, if you're... I mean, imagine if you're sitting in a job all day that you hate. Yeah. E even if it pays well, it's it kills the soul. It does. I've been there many a time. Ugh. Yeah, that's why I leave a lot of jobs, really. I, I can't say I blame you. Like, I had a professor in college. He, um... He originally worked, like, some, like, desk business job. Fair. The guy's like, he literally said, this kills the soul. Man. He eventually, he left, and, um... I think he was involved with, like... Cause, like this is, like, I went to a Catholic school, for okay. reference. He, he worked with, like, Catholic social workers, that kind of thing. Right. The dude, like, just... He, he just... He lives on a farm. Really? He lives on a farm. He... At least while he was still at the school I was at... Yeah. He would commute, like, hours just to teach. Wow. Go back to the farm and, like... Just grow stuff, give stuff to the local uh, food bank. Like, it's a very it's it's not lucrative, no. But it's a, it's a simple, fulfilling life, and yeah. I respect him for that. Yeah, that's that's actually incredible. Like, he found what made him happy, right? And he's doing it. He's living his life. That sounds fucking amazing. You know, I, I think there's some there's something cool about just. Not even farming, just you know, like not being so tied to all the crap that the modern world has to offer. Yeah, definitely. Now there is a lot of good, and we have it so great here. We do. We we really we really take it for granted as a whole, but mm -hmm. honestly, like sometimes the idea of just like living out in like in a shack in the middle of the woods, like like chopping the firewood for the for the night. It definitely seems more appealing than it probably would be. Yeah. 
Like, honestly, if I had, like, a... Or even, like, like a rural house. Yeah. Like, a chicken coop and all that stuff. That just... 100%. Something about that just sounds fun. It's just... Mm. It's, it's quiet. It's chill. I'm not, I'm not a fan of cities, in case you couldn't tell. Same. <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> well, this is, it's not a big city. No, this isn't a big city, but my little brother loves big cities. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. He's... Which, good for him, though. I mean, it, it takes a certain personality to really like that. Yeah, and I, he's doing it. He, he's loving it. Hey, good for him. Hmm? I can do it. I, I don't mind visiting cities. Yeah, definitely. But living in a city, that's that's just not something... No. I mean, I I guess I, I grew up like, kind, like semi-rural suburban. Yeah. Like, that's that, that's what I'm used to, so that's probably part of it. I don't know, just a lot of loud noises all the time. Bright lights. Like, I, I couldn't imagine living mm. in New York City. Oh, no. Like, unless you really had the personality for it. Right. Like... <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you were there with us, but we were having a weekend at, like, an anime con in New York. I forget why I didn't go, but I know a bunch of you guys went. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, this would have been, this is, this would have been back, like, four years ago? Yeah, about, about then. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't go, but probably part of it was because, I mean, city. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But, uh, there must have been something else going on that weekend, but yeah. Yeah, yeah I know you guys had a chaotic time <laughs> to put it lightly yeah two years in a row I think it was you did that wait you did it twice yeah I have the tags up there to prove it oh crap that's right yeah you did do that twice the hell is wrong with you <laughs> look the first time I get it yeah but the second time oh no it was hell both times well, well okay it was because of the group you were with definitely it, 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 the, the, the convention from what you told me about it it sounded pretty fun yeah the convention was fun there were a lot of events there that were entertaining but our group they I don't want to say this they okay how do we put this delicate, lightly <laughs> how do we put this politely for the internet to hear the group that you were with, mm -hmm. pieces of work. Yeah, they they have they can be difficult to deal with at times. They're extra. Okay, yes, yeah, so they're extra. That's that's a good way of putting it. And when they're all together, it builds and builds and builds. <laughs> well, it's like a, individually they're fine. Sure. Mostly, but yeah. then when they get when they converge. It's it's like how do I put this? Um, it's like the freaking Rasengan from uh, Naruto. Like you know, like Naruto, like the, like just one risk, like one shadow clone doing all the jutsus and the chakras. It's it's fine. But then when more of them start piling on, that's when it gets like really intense. I don't know what you're talking about, but I like the visual for it. I for those of you who are somewhat familiar with Naruto, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um. It, I'll have to show you a clip after this. If we get the chance. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it, it was something. It was energy feeding energy feeding energy. It's like freaking. It's like nuclear energy. It's terrifying. <laughs> Explosive, but man, does it keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and you only need a, need a little bit of it to sustain itself. Right. I, I'm not trying. We're not trying to insult these people. No, they, I mean we don't talk anymore. But like, right? But we, they're, they're just they, they have they have their quirks. Everyone has their quirks. Right. Their quirks just happen to be very extra. When together. I mean, I, I wouldn't have hard feelings about it in that scenario. I I can understand if maybe Joker, you'd be a bit more irritable <laughs> from the crap you told me about that weekend. <laughs> Uh, it, I, I can't get into any of it right now, so that's that's why I'm hesitant. It's m m maybe you know what, you know, vent your frustrations off off recording. How about that? All right, perfect. That's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It makes me wonder sometimes, like people that you have don't you don't talk to anymore. Hmm? Like, where the heck are they even? Right. Like, where are people ending up? I, I mean, I. 
I wouldn't consider... I don't know. People have told me... They consider me extroverted. Maybe I am in the sense that I like knowing where people are. Yeah. I don't know. It's just... It's... Like, sometimes, you know, you talk to someone in high school, and then you never... You don't know when the last time you'll ever see them again. Yeah. It's a weird thought. Speaking of, do you remember our one friend who had moved a state over in middle school? Yes. Did I tell you what happened with him? Didn't he lie? It's Didn't he not move at all? No, I don't, I don't think so. Hmm. I yeah. thought he was homeschooled. He was homeschooled, but I think one of his parents had a job opportunity in the different state. Oh, I didn't know that. But, la- as of last year, he got married. Good for him. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, that's mm-hmm. that's better than most of us can say these days. Like, yeah. oh, that, that's awesome. I'm glad yeah. for him. I mean, he, uh, admittedly, kind of an odd kid. Sure. I mean, okay, keep in mind, that's us saying that. Yeah. And, and we're pretty freaking weird. We are. I, I will fully admit that. Our weird energy builds off of each other's as well. But uh, I'd argue we're, we're he, I think he's more weird. I'd argue we're more, we're, we're more quirky. Yeah. D- d- depending on the context. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> those words can be used pretty much interchangeably sometimes. Mm, I, I, can, I can think of a context where it's very clear, the difference. In, with actual practical people. events? No, or? with people. Summer camp. That's where. That's that's a whole that's a whole other tangent that I'm not going to go down in right. this episode. Right. Maybe another time. I mean, if you want to talk about summer camp, we could talk about um, don't that song. Do not that, sing it. No. Do not <laughs> sing it. Okay, look. Ever, if you've ever been to a, a Christian summer camp, okay, there's a, there's a lot of singing. Mine didn't have the cringe songs. Really? No, there was no cringe. Okay, there was different cringe, yeah. but. They didn't make us sing along with it. Fuck. The cringe was more... The cringe was out of our control, but we could at least... Actually, actually, damn, you couldn't even ignore it. <laughs> it was blasting over the loudspeaker. Okay, we, we didn't... At least where I went, hmm? we didn't have to sing cringe songs. Oh. That was like 90% of what we did where I was. You see, I can see why you hate it. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That, that would make me hate it. Hmm? So we would sing before meals. Okay. After meals, well, we do we do the same thing, but we don't sing cringe. Oh, we sang a lot of it, and then we would go. Oof. Yeah, after meals, we would usually go to a different room and sing more. You didn't like go outside and play kickball or play dodgeball or like there go were, to a lake or something. You know, there, like fun things. There was a little bit of that, but it was all. <laughs> it was mostly like Bible readings and studies and. Like not, but like, not, story you don't get to like play dodgeball. We might have, but it, it. We had like a f- little bit of free time, like during the day, where we could actually do that stuff. But other than huh. that, it was basically learning. So, oh, so it was like school, but worse. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why you might have certain reservations about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, bl- I don't blame you. And if somebody wants to practice their religion, more power to them. <laughs> But dang, not like that. No, no. I prefer not to have it jammed down my throat. Oh, it's so cringe. Yeah. I feel bad for you just listening. I'm just hearing about it after the fact. I think it was from when I was 16, 6 to probably like 17. You went every year? Yep. And you and you endured all of that every year? Yep. I... <sighs> <laughs> You, you would have liked my camp a lot more. That's fair. Even if it had different... Even Beliefs. if it was a bit different. Yeah, if, even if it's like a different belief system, it probably sounds like it'd be better. No, we, we actually got to like play dodgeball. It sounds like you guys just read the Bible all day. Kinda. It was arts and crafts, Bible, and then... <laughs> That's just the next thing on the itinerary, just Bible. <laughs> Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. It's a Christian summer camp. You have sure. some of that. It, I expect that. Right. We had like we had like two workshops in a day, but the at least for the teen program, the the priest that uh, would give the talks, he yeah. was really cool and young. Mm-hmm. So like he, he knew how to make it palatable for teenagers. Like he worked he he was really good for our age group. It doesn't sound like you had a good way of like you didn't have the best delivery method, I guess. No. Um Ugh. 
we had people probably in their late 20s, probably early 30s, trying their best to condescend to the kids while trying to jam the religious imagery down their throats, essentially. Was it kind of like, guys, like, Jesus, he died for our sins, man. Was it kind of like that? Something like that. Oh, that, that, would, drive, that would drive me insane. Uh, yeah. Well, I was too young. Like I, I was young to the point where I wouldn't know that that was what they were doing. So yeah, I, I mean, where I went, like, they, it wasn't like that. It was more just like, okay, let's let's just talk about this. Hmm? It, they, they were more, I, I don't want to say chill with it. Hmm? They were more just direct about it, like, all right, let, let's talk about this. Right. Like you guys are willingly here, so let's all have an open discussion. Well, some kids. Let's see. There were a few kids that weren't there by their own accord and you you knew which ones didn't want to be there oh I'm sure we're talking like the kids who were like playing on their DS like during the during the, the lectures yeah for lack of a better term and it's like I mean, yeah it's some of that but in, in general everyone was pretty into it but like, it, 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 it's a difference in culture you guys were allowed to have your devices well so okay well the one kid shouldn't have okay <laughs> the younger kids shouldn't have t- see this is what I don't like hmm. and I'm about to rant about Phones. I'm about Ooh. to sound like a boomer. So, oh, no. so the teens at this camp, we were allowed to have our phones, but we could only use them during siesta. Hmm. Yes, we did call it that. Okay. Yes, we are white. <laughs> <laughs> during siesta and um, during, like, the meals. Okay. Or, 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 and also like, during free time or at night. Yeah. But, see, in my opinion, I didn't like that because I think phones, they just take you out of everything. Okay. Yeah. It's something like you can get wrapped up in literally anything that isn't where you are. Well, that's the thing. It's like I, I'm I'm not immune to this. Like hmm? I, I, sp- I I shouldn't say a waste. I spent an hour watching YouTube videos before dinner today. Okay. Well, like I didn't have much else to do. I didn't okay. feel like reading. It's just I don't know. Just something. Like, again, I know I sound like a boomer, but you have to understand I was raised by boomers. Yeah, you're. You have a large family. Night. Well, my parents aren't old, but no, no, they're no, old enough I'm, to be boomers. So. Yeah, but I'm saying you, you also have a lot of siblings and a large general family, so that probably yeah. doesn't. Well, it, it's like well, when one of your siblings borderlines on Gen X, like I, I'm the youngest. I'm freaking old, man. <laughs> We're freaking old. <laughs> no, it's just like it. The way I was raised is just you know. It, well, if anything, my parents didn't do enough to keep me away from technology, but in general, they, you know, it's like, hey, you know, go outside. Yeah. No, don't play the Game Boy outside. Like, just things like that, you know? It's, you need, you need a balance. Yeah. It seemed Although, good, because you're actually, like, reading and... Oh, no, like, it, it was bad, dude. Like, when I was in elementary yeah. school, yeah. I played my DS so much, like, I needed eye drops. My eyes yeah. were that irritated from looking at the screen not that much. Why my parents didn't take it away from me is beyond me, but... Maybe they didn't see a problem with it at the time. I don't. I. I don't want to read too much into it. Fair. But needless to say, I, I have. I've had a lot of technology time, but I also, as I age, I start to have the boomer mindset of like, kid, you're on your bike, you're on your skateboard, hmm. get off your damn phone, <laughs> just just like disconnect from the world. Yeah. You probably will be happier that way. Yeah. But. Freaking kids, man. Oh, back to the religious camp for just a second. Oh, 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 you got something to say, I can tell. Oh, yeah. So, after realizing that I hated the sing-alongs and Bible verses and all that stuff, I found at that same camp there was a fishing thing. Yo. Yeah, it was lit. So, that was a lot less of Bible verses. They tried to have us sing. They tried to have us do Bible verses and stuff, but we never fucking did. Guys, remember when Jesus split up the fish like that? As he as he casts the line, like, dude, we, we all know this. Can, can I just fish? I just want to fish. <laughs> Somebody, like, smacks him on the back and like, shut up. We know. <laughs> but dude, That's awesome, though. You got yeah, to fish. It was sun up to sundown, basically being on the lake with your line in the water. I love for it. For seven days. It was mm. fucking beautiful. Peaceful. Very. Mm. Like, it was me and my cousin, and we would literally just 
relax either in a kayak or on the shore Ooh. or canoe but yeah it was so much more relaxing so much more tranquil than our god is an awesome god <laughs> <laughs> he reigns from heaven above oh, oh, did, you, did you have to do hand motions with it yeah oh that that makes it even worse with wisdom Power and love. Uh, I, I, yep. Y- y- so you guys can't see what Joker is doing right now, but it's I so guarantee bad. you, you'll hate it. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. If you ever see me in real life, ask me what motions I was doing. I practiced this day in, day out for years at that church camp. I, I'll, I'll be happy to do it for you. It's so. You know what's funny though? What's that? I was hanging out with one of my friends um, from college. Right. She grew up at Catholic school. Mm-hmm. She so I was with her in the car, and another one of her friends who was a similar denomination to what you were. Oh really? Yeah. They all did the same things. Really? Like it was cross. It was cross the branches. <sighs> like and, like I was, we were talking about this for like ten, like twenty minutes in the car ride while we were, we were yeah. going someplace. Like, yeah, no, we did the same things, and then. They both started doing the same thing you were just doing. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to die. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. I, I forget how we how it came up in conversation, but I mentioned you, Joker. It's like, oh, yeah, really? yeah, one of my best friends from home. Yeah, he <laughs> he had this really cringe experience. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Our god. Yeah. I d- 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 stop. <laughs> it, it was bad <laughs> enough when you were bellowing that on that one hike. Oh yeah, that that was fun though. Hilarious as it was. Mm. Fuck you. <laughs> In the kindest way possible. Yeah, no. no, I get it. I, I give me an ass. Uh, it, it, give, it, give, it gives some spice to life, though. Mm-hmm. Like, like, within a reason, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to be an asshat to everybody I meet, but if I'm with my best friends, like, say, Knight and King, <sighs> I'm going to get on the nerves a little bit. Joker. Yeah. <laughs> You can't see it, but I'm making the Arthur fist. <laughs> I, I love that meme so much. <laughs> oh, somebody better catch these hands. <laughs> you know, I, I got one of my coworkers to do that. The Arthur fist. Yeah, we, well, because like he was, he's kind of close in age to us, or at least, mm. well, while he was still at our company, and. Like, literally, I started doing that, like, when I started interning. Yeah. And then I slowly got him to start doing that, too. <laughs> he'd, he'd be like, Nine. <laughs> and he would make the Arthur fist <laughs> if I, had, like, annoyed him. Uh, oh, so fucking great. You see, even in the workplace, you can meme. Oh, yeah. You just have to, you have to be careful about it. Yeah. But it can work. There's a fine line you have to uh, toe. Yeah. I mean, again, my, my workplace is pretty, uh, it's pretty chill. It's not like the corporate world where it's all prim and proper. Things which I, excuse me, things which I can't stand. Oh, yeah, definitely. That shit sucks. It's like bougie business. Mm. I just, maybe it's just my own disposition. Mm. I, I, just, I can't stand. I can't stand upper class, like, manners, BS. Right, extreme for- formality isn't necessarily something that you're looking forward to. I, like, I get, like, you go to a fancy dinner, you do the things with the forks, like, eat inward, that, like, Table fancy table manners once in a while. It's sure. fine. Yeah, it's only for like an hour or two at most. Yeah, but at work, that's day in day out, eight to ten hours of all that shit. I could never do it. I. You see, part of another reason I wouldn't want to be in a city because it's, from what I can tell, it's a lot more like that. Yeah, I couldn't do that either. Ugh. I I I'm not fancy. No, <laughs> I'm just <same>. not. <laughs> I might be a little bougie with some of the things that I get, but like, I mean, I can't act it. I mean, this this setup is pretty bougie. <laughs> Shit, classy, bougie, ratchet, or however the heck that one TikTok trend went. <laughs> we see that's another weird thing though. What's up? Like, I I have a bunch of friends from school who are like one to two years younger than me, mm-hmm. or I guess us. They're way more into TikTok. Really? And like, they keep up more with the trends like that, and I'm like. Hmm. Bro, I, I don't want to ever get a TikTok. <laughs> like, even when it first became a thing. Yeah. I was thinking, okay, so it's just Vine 2. 
It's it's like it's 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 a logical progression of Vine. Yeah. But arguably with more cringe. Yeah, it's nine percent cringe, and then you have to find the gold in the cringe. There is gold. There is. But you have to find it. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to find the needle in the haystack? <laughs> like the one TikTok of the farmer guy and his ostrich Kevin. Did I show you guys that? I don't think you have. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, he has, he puts on an accent, mm. uh, and in this one he says, Hi guys, this is Kevin, and he has a demon. And then Kevin <laughs> starts, like, pecking towards him, and then he uses a garbage can and just whacks him. <laughs> 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 As it hits him, he goes, Yeah. <laughs> Poor ostrich. Uh, it is so funny. He runs an ostrich farm. That's so badass. Yeah, right? It's so <laughs> fucking cool. Like, of all the things. <laughs> he found what makes his heart happy. I, I, I mean, what, what's the benefit to an ostrich farm, though? Aside from, like, trying oh. to wage war with Australia, but with, like, a, a, its That's cousin. That's emus. Well, yeah. no, it's the cousin of the ostrich. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, what we do is we get cassowaries, yeah. we get emus, and get ostriches. Mm. And then we all have them team up. And then we have the emu war, too. We could take down all of Australia. Easily. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Australia's already trying to kill itself. We can just we can just ease the process. <laughs> Add some fuel to the fire. I mean, they're not going to terraform it. Half, most, of, most of the continent, in air quotes, continent. Prison. Is, prison <laughs> most of it's barely usable <laughs> unless they terraform like the inland to where like it actually is fertile and green they're not gonna they, it's, it's just around the coast they can't do anything with the soil it's dumb it's dumb. shout out to salmonella for uh pointing that out see not an episode goes by where we don't simp for salmonella oh yeah except we for almost forgot maybe the last episode i forget I don't know. We should simp more for him in this episode to make up for it. Well, eventually, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the the um. Well, I guess what would you call that? Not like a dedication, but a memorandum. No, no, not like like a. It's it's a video that you dedicate to someone, hmm. or like a specific topic, like a. If the, if the name comes to me, I'll find it. We'll make one of those videos for Sam Monella. Cool. Because I doubt he's gonna come back at this point. Yeah. I think something probably popped up. Probably something with school, because he was... Yeah. I don't remember what he was in school for, or if he had even said it, but he was in college for a long while. Yeah. So well, he, cause he's only like a year or two younger than us, I think. Is he really? He's, he's pretty close in age to us. Hmm. From, from what I remember, and like... You know what? Good for him that he's able to make success off of poorly animated videos. <laughs> they got better. Through a lot of his ad read softwares and things like that, which we're not getting paid for, so we won't mention exactly what they are. Unless you want to sponsor us, companies we won't mention quite yet. Okay, we no, if we need if we want to sponsor, we need to be sponsored by uh, Del Monte. Del Monte. The, the fruit company. Yes. <laughs> the only reason I'm saying that is because Markiplier made that video where he said that Del Monte was dead to him. Because he wanted a sponsorship from them so bad. I'm not making this up. He made a whole video about this. Oh, I thought you were going to reference Semonello. No. You know what's better than that? Nanners. Nanners. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously, watch Samonella's entire library. I, I can't think of a video that isn't good. Yeah, it's all fire. It, it's all... It, it, he never misses. Nah. It's like, why can't... Why can't he just stay around forever? Nothing lasts forever. Yeah, I know, but like, can he? <laughs> Him specifically? Oh, I guess it's about that time. Oh, but I was having so much fun. Me too. But next episode, King should be here. And we can give him shit for not being here for this one. As we discuss, um, I believe Pokemon is the next topic. Hell yeah. Crap, it doesn't say it on the board. I'm pretty no. sure the next topic is Pokemon, though. Not not scripted either, so we, we're just going off the cuff again. Also, that is right before, um... 
the week before the new Pokemon game comes out. Really? Yeah. We didn't even we didn't even plan that. No, th- this was just a bunch of ideas we were brainstorming at the, the like beginning of last month, and no one was really thinking about the new Pokemon re- release. I mean, I, I don't know. I know we have. I know we have other stuff coming up for our gameplay segments, but yep. I didn't expect us to play <laughs> for the Let's Play do um Brilliant Diamond or whatever. No, but I, I have a double pack. I got both games. Really? Yep. Do we have the recording software? I don't have it for the Switch, but I could mm. get it if you guys want to record it. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> see, see, there are no accidents. There are no... What? Master Ugwe. Isn't it? Kung Fu Panda. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents or something like that? No, that's Bob Ross. Oh. Equally as wholesome. Hell yeah. We should do a Bob Ross episode. We should. Uh, do you have one of those paintings up there? No, wait, that's a ship. He doesn't do ships. No. This was uh, a guy from the Grateful Dead. Ah. The hippie band. So you can't see it, folks, but it, it looks like, like a bunch of reeds. Mm-hmm. It's like sunset, or it could even be uh, sunrise. Wetlands 1. That yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. But it's about that time. I guess we got to wrap it up. Oh, that's a shame. Well, Joker, we got to plug our social media. Oh, yeah. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Whoa. At, yeah, at TKCRG. 2021. Did I get that right? Oh, you got it right. Hell yeah. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it... uh, As a what, Joker? What is it going to do? Uh, As it boogie woogies through the streets? You know what? I'll give you that one. Hell yeah. (laughs) King's cabinet is adjourned. Hey, that was kind of okay. Hey. Hey!